Why is it so hard to get politicians to answer a question anymore? Tonight, the art of the dodge. He refused to answer with giving accurate information, Minister. He never really answered the question either. Why are you misleading Canadians? I'm going to give him one last chance. Minister, it's a very important question. The does not go Canadians in the, the money. What? Um, Just looking for the number. Just stop dodging, please, and answer the darn question. Do you think Canadians deserve to know more? She did. okay. She's not the witness, did, the did, witness did not even have... This Prime Minister said he would stand up every Wednesday and answer every question. Uh, I'm looking for the number. No. It, it's a yes-no question. It is. It, do you think there's a problem with the audio in the chamber? I know you don't want to hear it as a Liberal. I know you don't want to hear it. Your non-answer proves why Canadians and your own housing agency has no faith in your government. Canada had no federal vaccine compensation fund. Can you agree with that? Again, I'm not an expert in the history of vaccine compensation funds in right. Canada. But if your own housing agency has no faith in you, why should Canadians? Thank you for the question, Mr. Hallen. Uh, you asked me to comment on the conservative scheme on housing. I, I didn't so ask let you to comment so. on that. I you comment. In, in fact invited me to, so let me comment. I'd like to hear First an of all, I... How many times has the Prime Minister communicated with the Ethics Commissioner? Answer the question. I will give the same answer. I'm happy to work with the Ethics Commissioner on any questions that she may have. And one of the things that I one last time, in dollars, how much have house prices risen since this government took office? The Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, consumer confidence is back. People are back to work. 106% of jobs have been recovered since the lowest point of the pandemic. Minister, M can you please MP Holland, answer MP Holland. why yeah. Canadians the should minister, have faith in you? MP Holland. Even though your housing MP agency Holland. doesn't. That's M the question. MP Holland. I I've asked my M question. M MP. And how affordable are such houses? The Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, our government has made historic investments in housing. We will continue to do so, so that housing is affordable for all Canadians. How many times, 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 and how many times has he met with the Mr. Speaker, uh, Canadians expect clarity, they expect consistently, and when asked the same question, I will give the same answer. That's what Canadians expect. A was it zero times did he meet with the Ethics Commissioner? B, was it one to five, or C, six to ten? Uh, the fact is, on this side of the House, we are focused on making investments that are going to make a difference. Can you tell the committee and Canadians how much we're spending or projected to spend on interest on the debt this upcoming fiscal year? Um, I'm just looking for the number. Let me just say, because I think it's important to put things in context, that does the minister have any idea what it costs for the average person to buy a house in Canada? Does he have any idea, or does he even care? The minister. Help more than 213,000 businesses stay afloat. Will you tell Canadians how much we're going to spend on servicing the debt next year? Here's what I think that it's really important to put numbers in context. Without context, numbers are meaningless. Our debt service charges are low in Canada's his, in historical context, and they are low compared to what our peers in the G7 Thank you are for the paying. context. How much? Member, Minister. Mr. Speaker, the economy is recovering. And they're it's irrelevant to my question. Housing. Actually, point I believe order, that Mr. your Chair, votes are very relevant. There has to be, question you have clear. to stop interrupting. Yeah. Stop interrupting. So I'll, I'll move on, I'll move on. No, I, I haven't finished I'll, I'll, answering. I'll move on, it's my time. And I only no, I'm, I'm afraid time. actually so, it's time for so questions and answers, Mr. Mr. Allen, so I Minister, would like to answer. This because is the I have things why, to say about exactly housing because the we have a plan. Why. How many times has he communicated with the Ethics Commissioner? I'm happy to work with the Ethics Commissioner to answer any questions that she might have. How much, how much has your government collected in carbon taxes? Also an opportunity for me to point out that Manitoba families will be getting $1,200 this year. If so, how much have house prices uh, increased since this government took office? The Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, let's talk about how it's possible for people to afford their houses with good employment. And that's why employment income fell by an unprecedented $28 billion during the percent or during the pandemic. I'd also like to point out that Conservative senators have been reprimanded for bullying witnesses and it would be terrible to have that kind of behaviour. Your Prime Minister has been reprimanded for bullying strong women in his own caucus for standing up to his corruption. So, so let me let me now speak about 
was getting tired of pretending to answer the question, so he's decided he just won't even pretend to answer it at all. So I'll ask it one more time. What are the interest payments Canadian tax holders are stuck with next year on your government's debt? I just need the number. The debt service charges are outlined in detail on page 77 in English of the Fall e Economic 82, Statement actually. and page, page 90 in French. What is the average cost for a home in the City of Ottawa? The Honourable Minister. Uh, Mr. Speaker, my uh, title is the Minister of Tourism and Associate Minister of Finance. I'm sure my Honourable colleague across the way knows that. But let me say, Mr. Speaker, 156,000 jobs. I didn't hear the last question. The How last part the of the question. the government collected in carbon taxes since it, since it was implemented? Um, so, thanks for the question, and it gives me an opportunity to be really clear about the price on pollution. This is revenue neutral. All Sorry, Minister, money that is pretty, collected, all question. money that is Just collected, number, how goes much back you? directly to Canadians. I only have that time, is Minister. the key. Will you tell Canadians how much we're spending on the debt? There's, it's, it's on, it's in black and white, in your book. Is it? Do you just not want to say? I think that it's important okay. to put all numbers. So will the prime minister stop hiding the truth and show can Canadians what he's actually made of, and tell Canadians how many times he's met with the ethics commissioner? I'm uh, happy to work with the ethics commissioner to answer any questions that she may have. Yeah. Well, member for Carlton. Just the average house price. The Honourable Minister. 5.5 million Canadians lost their jobs and they're all back. What's the gross dollar value we're going to spend on interest on the debt next year? And let me again, I really am opposed to fiscal fear mongering by the Conservatives. And so. How much? Minister. From a steep decline in profits, we're back 66% since the bottom of the pandemic. Carol. Just the number, Minister, how much has the government actually collected in carbon taxes? As I said, the key point is, it's all money that goes back to Canadians. It goes back to your constituents, okay. my constituents, Daniel's... Can you tell us what it costs the average Canadian, Canadian to buy the average house in Canada today? How much? The Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, the CERB helped nearly 9 million Canadians who lost their jobs when COVID hit making housing affordable for them, we will continue to French. I just need the number. But let me also so point a, let me minister, also gonna, let me also sit, point out minister, I just no, need the MP number. has the Prime Minister met with the ethics commissioner? And if so, how many times? Very, very Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, uh, I am pleased to work with the Ethics Commissioner uh, and Honorable Committee's Commissioner uh, to answer any Again, Minister, if I could just have the number, how much have you collected in carbon taxes? The key point which Conservatives consistently are trying to keep from Canadians. The question was, what is the average cost of a house in Canada today? The Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, our government has made historic investments in housing affordability and we will continue to do so. The, the, minister, the minister was as, as answering your question. No, she wasn't. Okay. What's the number of okay. interest payments next year on Canadians? As I said, the debt service charges are clearly outlined on pages 77 so in English, 90 in French. But let me point out some important features. The Minister of Treasury Board uh, can help uh, by telling us the average cost of a house in uh, the, the nation's capital. The Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, I want to say 106% of jobs have been recovered since the lowest point of the pandemic. I will ask the question fact, again. Actually, actually, Minister, let me just say, your housing agency I, has I no believe, faith I believe in the your MP plan. Hallen asked me a Canadians? question. I, I certainly believe the point of this exercise is for him to ask me a question. He offered quite a long Questions preamble on the table, three with times lots down. of points embedded in it. Why should and Canadians like have faith in you when your own agency if, doesn't? If MP you Hallen would Hallen. like to hear a response. Allow the witness please to answer the questions. I, I, what is the uh, average increase in house prices since this government took house uh, took office uh, uh, in 2015? The Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, Canada's economy contracted by 17% between February and April 2020, the largest and most sudden contraction in real GDP since the Great Depression, and we're already back. What is the dollar value of all carbon taxes collected since the tax was implemented? 
The key point is that is money in the pockets of Canadians for Manitoba families this year. It's going to be $1,200. That is making a real difference. And what would they pay for the average house? In 2020, unemployment rated more than doubled from a pre-pandemic level of 5.7% to a record of 13.7%, 6% now. When did they tell him? The Prime Minister would have, should have known about this. He must have. When did he learn it? So I'm going to ask a third time. For the tenth time. I Disrespecting this house for the twentieth time. For the twenty-fourth time. You can agree the first compensation cut fund in Canada for vaccines came about only because of the COVID vaccines, correct? Again, I'm I'm really not an expert in vaccine compensation funds. If if the direction of the question I have been vaccinated four times. My children. Uh, I, I understand, ma'am. I don't need to know that. But uh, but, but it, does I, I speak, it does speak to my confidence in the vaccine. I, 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 I have children vaccinated. It speaks to my belief that they're safe. Please stop talking out the clock and let me ask my questions, okay?